All right, Coach, big day. Um, if you would, just go ahead and overall statement on the class, and if you want to go one by one on each guy. Yeah, excited about the, the initial, uh, initial group of five here. We've got another four or five coming in the next couple, you know, next month or so, but excited about this, this, this initial group. We've got some good versatility. Um, you know, certainly Mike Saunders at point guard coming from Utah, um, somebody who didn't have, you know, maybe as much opportunity this past year at Utah, but when he had the opportunity when they played UCLA, was tremendous. Uh, very, very good numbers uh, at, at Cincinnati before that as well. He's somebody that I think will be ready to make an immediate impact uh, in the Southland. He's also got some great leadership qualities. Um, he really, really uh, wants to win, be a part of winning. He was part of a really good program at Lawrence North High School in Indianapolis. And so I think there's just a lot of, um, a lot of good qualities uh, with, uh, with, with Mike. Uh, Javon Garcia. Uh, JG, uh, somebody we knew from, from, from UMass, he, he played at UMass uh, in the Atlantic 10, um, you know, played well for them, went, transferred to College of Sequoias out in California, played for a tremendous, tremendous coach, uh, Coach Jensen out there. And uh, he was the conference, uh, co-conference player of the year. The big kid on his team is actually going to uh, Tech, was at Tech. And he was, they, they were co-conference uh, co -conference players of the year. Uh, but uh, le led uh, led him to a three seed in the in the state tournament out there, and uh, really 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 good score. Uh, can play can play multiple guard positions, kind of a versatile guard. Can play uh, kind of play all over the uh, play play all over the place. Handle the ball, make shots. Um, you know, I'm really excited about his length and and, and what he brings to the team. Uh, you know, Zach Harvey is somebody who is uh, was at Cincinnati. Uh, he was teammates with with Saunders and 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 with kind of the connection to all them is Tari Eason, the kid who played for me at LSU. Um, and so they were all roommates with Tari. Uh, Saunders and Tari are extremely extremely close. And then Harvey was on the team with them. And so um, Harvey, you know, shot 40 percent from three at, at, at Cincinnati. Had some big games. He's got a great body. Um, he was a, a highly, highly touted kid. He was a kid I talked to, and, and we recruited a little bit when, when, uh, w when I was at LSU. Uh, he played for a really, really good AAU program uh, with uh, with Jeremiah Robinson Earl, who's now um, who was at Villanova, now in the NBA. So, um, you know, Zach's somebody. He hasn't played. He was at UCSB and didn't play this past year. He's got a little bit of a gap semester, so I think he's somebody that's going to be hungry. Uh, he's excited about being here. I talked to him for a long time yesterday. He's got some good friends that are actually here in Lake Charles, and um, he's chomping at the bit to get down here and to, and, and, and to start training. Uh, DJ Richards, uh, he's uh, he's uh, I, I love him. He, uh, he he's a UTSA, but he's got the right. Uh, he's got a attitude and edge, just a great way about him. He fits me. You know, he's probably not, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. He ain't everybody's cup of tea. But he fits, he really fits me and, 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 and fits what our program's about. Uh, I love, you know, I talk to him, you know, frequently, and he's always talking junk to me or sending me videos. And, you know, I, I like that about him. He's going to bring an edge. Uh, he's going to bring an edge to our, to our team, an edge to our ball club. He can, he can, he can just really really shoot it he's played it really you know he played at Montverde he's young for his grade he went to Montverde for a post-grad year and he he, he uh, really excelled there and, and and did some good things at UTSA this past year he was started off great he was shooting over 40 percent from three most of the season and then kind of tailed off at the end for some other reasons but I think he'll be a 40 plus percent uh three-point shooter uh, for us here at uh, you know here at McNeese, but I really like his his attitude, his pop. Um, I, I think he's going to be you know Saunders leads in certain ways, and I think you got to have a little bit of personality, and I think DJ can bring uh, a lot of that uh, a lot of that personality to us. Uh, he does not lack for confidence, that's for sure, and I, I like that uh, I like that uh, I like that about him. And then uh, C.J. Felder, see in the packet. Uh, CJ Felder, it's a good last minute addition there. And we were working late in the night. Uh, but uh, 
C.J. Felder, somebody, I mean, look, he averaged double digits in the ACC. You know, I mean, you get somebody like that, it's a, it's a, it's a good player. His first year at Florida, you know, when he was with Mike White, I thought, I thought he did some really, really good things. Speaking of Tari, I mean, I remember we played him. He pinned, a, he pinned one of Tari's shots on the backboard. I thought, oh, where'd that come from? But, um, you know, I, I think he's, he's, a, he's a versatile big guy. He can make shots. Uh, he can rebound. Uh, he can score in the post. I mean, he can just do a little bit of everything. Uh, I, I think he's, he's a versatile, versatile, versatile piece for us and somebody that we can play uh, all over the court, create mismatches with, and you know he can play, play around the rim and, and certainly be able to score around the rim, and he can play on the perimeter as well. But you know, he, was, you know, he played high-level basketball at a, you know, in the ACC and in the SEC and produced you know, in both of, those, both of those circumstances. So I think he's going to be a very, very um, you know, good player for us. Moving forward, we still got to add some guys. You know, I want to add, he'd never be too light on shooting. We need to add a little bit more shooting, a little bit more scoring in the guard, in the guard, uh, in the guard areas. And then we, we certainly did need to add another, you know, kind of wing forward, kind of a versatile piece that can play a little bit all over. And we need another couple big guys. Um, so we're, we're hard at work on that. We've got a couple of visits coming up this weekend. And uh, hopefully we'll, 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 we'll be adding to this over the next, uh, over the next couple of weeks. But, my staff's done a great job. We're off to a, a, a good start with these guys, and, and my staff's been working extremely hard on it. And you know, we've got to uh, got to close down uh, close down some more guys here in the next couple of weeks. Um, you talk about a lot of these guys are pretty much all of them the the kind of personality they have. Where does that rank when you're trying to build a program on the totem pole? They all have the same personality as you do. Well, you got to have guys. I mean, you got to have guys that you're look. At the end of the day. Yeah, it's a business, yes, yeah, but but like you want to be around people you like being around. Like I like being around our team, so you want to have guys that, that that you enjoy being around. I mean, you spend so much time with them, and, and you want the players to you know players that you enjoy being around, and the player hopefully the players fit your personality too. And you know, I think you know you you want to have a mix of personalities on your team. You can't have all the same. I can't have ten DJ Richards, but I can have two of them. Uh, you know, and, and, and I can't have 10 Mike Saunders, but you can have one or two of them. You know, I think Mike's really, you know, Mike's one of those guys who's just got tremendous leadership, who kind of be the heartbeat of, of, of some of the stuff that we do. And, and Richard's just going to be the, the personality and the pop and the, you know, Richard is fearless. I mean, just absolutely, you know, fearless. And, you know, you know he, he, um, he, he, he'll give our team kind of that, that personality, Felder and, and Harvey are kind of more reserved and kind of kind of laid back and just go with the flow. And JG's kind of like that too. Garcia, just more of a laid back, just kind of do their work. But JG, one thing I really like about JG is he, he's kind of uh, calm off the court, but he'll get he'll get on you on the court. Like you watch him play out there at Sequoias and stuff. Like he's got some pop to him on the court, so he'll hold he'll hold guys accountable on the court. So I think all of them bring some different stuff. But you certainly look at the the personality profiles and and, and how everything fits together. It's not just a talent grab. I mean, you can go grab talented players, but it's not just a it's not just a straight talent grab. Like you've got to have the pieces to the puzzle have to have to fit. Questions. Yeah, um, how many scholarships do you have available still, and how many guys have rolled over? Well, I don't know who all's hit the portal. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I hadn't followed. I mean, I know I've had the meetings, and I know who's going to hit the portal and what's all going to happen. I anticipate that we will have ten new players and we will have three holdovers. Um, I don't want to – I mean, I, I don't want to, like, break news with other – kids. you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't – but yeah. we'll have. I anticipate we'll have ten new guys and three, uh, three back from 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 last year. Um, so so I don't know. I don't. You have to do the math on who's in, who's out, that sort of thing. Yeah. But so with, I'm just saying with that. So we've signed five. Or we've like, signed five, like and five. I, I'm 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 looking at five. You know, four or five more, give or take. Um, back to your signing class, Felder, Harvey, and Saunders have all played at a major conference. What does that do for you, knowing they have that experience of playing at high levels? Yeah, I mean, I think that helps. Um, 
you know, and 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 you know, I, I think that certainly helps. I think there's there's something to be said for that. You know, those kids. You know, I mean, you'll see, and, and it's not all the way true, like because DJ Richards could play in a major conference. I mean, he had major conferences that wanted him when he transferred. You know, those kids just move a little bit different. He's got a little more wiggle to them. Their hips are a little bit – I mean, they just move different. And and so, you know, w w when you can get kids that have played at that level and, 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 have, and, have, and have done some good things at that level, I think, I think it, it, it projects well that, that they're going to – you know, that they're going to they're gonna be able to produce here and, and do some things uh, at this level. But the, the biggest thing is they just – you know, there's just a different – Look, it doesn't matter what you're coaching. You want the best athletes, all right? If I'm going to go coach women's soccer, I still need the best athletes. Most of the time, that's going to win. Eight times out of ten, it's going to win. If I'm coaching soccer, tennis, basketball, football, it doesn't really matter. If you walk out there with the best athletes, you get the best opportunity to win. Now, you add a little skill and you can coach them, you got a damn good opportunity to win. So, um, you know, you want really, really good athletes and high major athletes, and I think – I think, you know, I mean, look, I mean, you look at Garcia. I know we didn't mention, I mean, the Atlantic 10, when he was in it, was a multi-bid, really, really good league. It wasn't like he's coming from some one-bid league. Like, it was a multi-bid good league. And all these kids have played in, in you know, higher-ranked leagues in the Southland. And I think that's, I think, I think that will, will help them as we adjust, as we adjust to Southland play. One big thing a lot of teams struggle with when they get a lot of kids out of the portal is team chemistry Harvey and Saunders have played together is that something that was intriguing for you guys yeah and Saunders I mean Saunders is already I mean Saunders contacts every kid all the time as soon as he sees we've like offered a kid or something like he's calling them and talking to them and uh, on the phone with them and 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 you know he, he's been real he's already kind of started his leadership and and making sure everything comes together he's he, he just has an insatiable desire to, to win he really, really wants to win. He really, really wants to have a good experience. You know, his experience this past year wasn't what he was hoping for, and uh, you know, I, I, he's got a he's got just a, a real desire to win. And I think that I think that helps when you've got his leadership and and he's talked to you know other guys. Shoot, he's talked to some kids that we've recruited, and he said, Ah, coach, I don't know about that. I'm like, All right, well, forget him. We'll move on. Um, so you know, I, I think it's important that we find guys that. That, that, that fit together and look we'll worry about forming the team in, in June once everybody gets here in June we'll start summer school June 5th and then you know we'll start practice then and then we can worry about kind of getting everybody together and getting everybody moving and rowing in the same direction in June but I feel I feel good about I feel good about the start and, and where we are and I think I think the kids like each other which is good and, and certainly having some familiarity with 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 Saunders and, and, and with Harvey um, you know, it's, it, it doesn't uh, it, it it doesn't hurt. That's for sure. What's it been like <clears throat> this year for recruiting with some of the limitations you had put on you? What's that been like, and has it been more difficult? Yeah, I mean, look, I can't leave campus. Um, you know, I can't leave Lake Charles to go recruit. So, you know, some schools are going to do in homes with these kids. Um, Felder's the only kid we had that came on an official visit. The rest of those kids never even they ain't even seen uh, Lake Charles. Um, and we got two kids coming on official visits this week. So the kids, when they, you know, as, you, as we get deeper into this, uh, you know, people are going to do home visits with these kids. And, and my assistants can certainly go out, but I, I, I can't go out. So it's going to be more important to get kids to campus where I can spend time with them on campus um, as opposed to, to being able to, you know, where we would normally just go to their house and talk to them and see if we can wrap it up there. Um, so so it'll be it'll be more important uh, moving forward as we get deeper into the portal here that we're going to have to bring some of these kids on campus and try to try to hammer it out when they're when, when they're here on campus um, because I can't leave to go get to them so I, I would say it's it's um, you know it's been a little bit problematic but nothing we can't work through what about your staff are you complete on your staff or how close are you to that yeah I'm complete on the staff I mean we got to go through some stuff on the hiring stuff I think we announced one this week is that yeah, right is. yeah we, we announced chambers this week who's phenomenal he's up there working away right now on 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 everything but all the guys have been with me all the guys have, have been with me at, at LSU and um, and some some of them have been with me other places as well and so We've got our strength coaches in place. We've got we've got the assistants in place. Um, 
you know, ops is showing up today, and, and, and video will be here next week. So, yeah, we've, I mean, we've, we've got everybody in place and, 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 and rock and roll, and I don't know when we'll release all that, but it'll be over the next couple of weeks. The one who is official, aside from Nelson, who we talked about earlier last month, what does Chambers bring to the, to the staff? Well, I mean, Chambers is, uh, I've known him since he was in college. He, wor he worked for us when we were at VCU. And, uh, you know, I mean, he's, he's uh, first off, he's the most organized individual you'll ever meet. Uh, and so he's just very, very organized, very, very on point, very, very good coach, uh, does a great job with the details on the court, very good with player development, um, has very good relationships with the players. He really relates to the guys, which is something I like. He's, he, Chambers is, as you get to know him, you know, he's, he's very well put together now. Um, he's very sharp, but he wasn't always like that. He's been through he's been through some stuff, and uh, you know he can really relate to the players with his story and kind of how he's gotten to where he's gotten and, and, and how he's done what he's done. And just a phenomenal uh, he's a man now. You know I call him a kid because he was I mean <laughs> you know but but he's a man now and he's just a phenomenal person and really really. Um, Good coach, knows what he's doing on the court, very good with player development, has a respect to the players, and he's very good with, uh, you know, organizing, you know, a lot of our Zooms and just all that sort of stuff. He does a, he does a great job with with that where I can just show up and kind of do my deal. And he's, got it, he's got it all. He's got it all laid out. The, the group you have, is uh, Saunders the only guy that needs the waiver? No, well, we're still working through all that. We may need two of them that need waivers, but we're we're, we're working through that, and and we feel good about that. Um, eligibility wise, is Felder the only one with one year? The rest of those guys have have uh, multiple years. Okay. Yeah, Felder's got one year. This is his last year. Um, um, the rest of those guys do have multiple years. That was important. That was important too. Yeah. Is that as you move forward? Is that important uh, to get that, or are you now with the new waiver thing in place? Do you look to look? I don't that look. Or? I'm all about the free market. So, like, if let's say, for instance, uh, let's just use him because he's a freshman. Let's use Richards. Let's say Richards comes here and has a tremendous year. Does does what we think he can do. Shoots forty percent from three. If he wants to leave, I'm going to let him leave. I don't care. I'll go find another one, and we can go do the same thing. So, like, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm cool with that. Like, I look at all of this, like, most of these guys are here for one year, and then we'll evaluate what's best for them after the year. If it's best for them to come back and continue here, then we'll certainly do that. If it's best for them to move on and go somewhere else because they can play at a higher level or they need to go to a lower level, we'll certainly help with that. I'm all about that. Like, I, I'm not – I look at this as – yeah, we got guys that have multiple years, and, and, and Saunders, and Harvey, and, and Garcia, and, and, and Richards. But you know, if there's somebody who comes here and, and puts up great numbers and, and, and wants to move on, I'm going to help them move on. Because you know what? Most coaches don't. But the way I look at it is if I help them move on, then I'm going to go get the next one of them. Because I can just go do the same thing. It's no different than when you're at a high major and you move kids on to the NBA. We just go replace them with another NBA player. Because you've helped them. If I can, if we can become a pipeline to help kids get to high majors or help kids get to where they want to go in a year, what's wrong with that? It's America, right? You come home, you come in, you work hard, you do good, and you get a better opportunity. This is the way it works. And so I, I'm I'm cool with that. I'm one of the few coaches probably that feels like that, but I'm cool with it. Like that's just the way. That's just that's just the way it You're is. All the few coaches. Huh? You are one of the few coaches. That I think that's the way it should be, though. I think they should be able to transfer as many times as they want. Any student on our campus can. Why do we have all these stupid rules about the transfers and the and the and the waivers and all this stuff? If you want to transfer and the coach agrees and the kid agrees that you should transfer, transfer. If you don't want them to transfer, treat them well and do what you actually said you were going to do in recruiting and do what you actually said you were going to do with the NIL or whatever it may be. If you do all that stuff and the kid has a good experience, he's not going to transfer. If not and the kid wants to transfer or the coach wants him to transfer, go. They should be able to transfer five times if they want to. Who cares? Any other student can.